Donald Trump has been promising to cut taxes for the American working class, and now he's saying how he's going to do it. Today in Indianapolis, President Trump announced that if you're living alone and in the working class, your first $12,000 of income will be tax free. If you're married, your first $24,000 will be tax free. It's all part of his federal tax reform plan that President Trump has been working on, and he laid the groundwork for it here at the Indiana State Fairgrounds at the Farm Bureau building. He said he based a lot of it on what Vice President Mike Pence did in Indiana while he was governor. Now, one thing to point out, not everybody was as excited about Trump's announcement as the crowd was that he spoke in front of at the Farm Bureau building. There was a protest that took place here at the, far, at the fairgrounds today, and it took place right here at the entrance by 39th Street, just off 39th Street on the sidewalks along each side of the entrance. The thing is, though, if you look at the entrance and what is surrounding this area, the Farm Bureau building is nowhere to be seen. That's because the protesters were not allowed to demonstrate on the actual fairgrounds themselves. They were instead instructed to stay outside of the gates and stay here by the entrance away from the Farm Bureau building. While they still continued to commence with their protest, they were not seen by many Trump supporters who were there at the Farm Bureau building building to hear Donald Trump speak. Meanwhile, people who were there, a number of Indiana elected officials, Congressman Luke Messer was there, Congresswoman Susan Brooks was there, Senator Todd Young was there, Senator Joe Donnelly was also there, and Donald Trump had some pretty sharp words to say to Senator Donnelly, a Democrat from Indiana. If Senator Donnelly doesn't uh, approve it, because, you know, he's on the other side, we will come here, we will campaign against him like you wouldn't believe. Now, current Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb was not present at President Trump's speech today. He was away at an event in Chicago with the Navy SEALs, and he says as a Navy veteran, something like that is very near and dear to his heart, and it's something he's been planning for quite a while. But he is very excited to see Indiana be used as an example for federal tax reform. In Indianapolis, Tony Sandlaven, Newslink, Indiana.